When God is kind to people who ignore him, is he just being too nice? Well, let's find out. Have you ever watched someone being taken advantage of over and over again and thought, why do they put up with that? I mean, they're just too nice. Well, these are the thoughts that come to mind when reading 2 Kings chapter 13. Because there you find the king of Israel, Jehoahaz, committing adultery and doing what's evil in God's sight. But when the king and the people suffer the consequences of this by being harassed and defeated by Aram, King Jehoahaz prays to God and God rescues him and his people. But then, in the very next verse, they go back to sinning and committing adultery. And then, when King Jehoahaz dies, his son, King Jehoash, takes over and he does what's evil in God's sight. He refuses to give up adultery. Over and over again, the Israelites are again overrun by the Arameans. So Jehoash goes to the prophet Elijah and cries out in distress. And once again, God grants Israel success over the Arameans. Why does God keep responding positively to people who keep disobeying him and ignoring him? Well, in 2 Peter chapter 3, Peter says that the reason God has not brought judgment already is that he is being loving and he's being patient. He's giving everyone every opportunity to repent. You see, his lack of exacting judgment is not a lack of justice. It's postponing justice in hopes that the people will respond to his love and his grace and his mercy rather than experience his judgment. Where in our lives has God been patient and gracious with us when our actions and our attitude warranted much harsher treatment? And where have we gone our own way and then come back and called out to God and he's rescued us rather than punish us? And where in our lives has God just been too nice to us? This week, rather than be upset with God for giving the undeserving seconds and thirds and fourth chances, Try being grateful for all the second, third, and fourth chances he's given you because it'll change your heart towards others. We'll see you next week.